Sorry, kid. Can't admit you to the ride without a parent. But, but, come on, please. They're on their way. I promise. Look, I even meet the height requirement. Uh, see? I'm in the green. Yep. Nope, nope. Still can't let you on the ride without the permission of your parent. Oh, come on. Where are Spice's parents? They brought us to the fair, but they're not here to let us in on the rides. Wait a second. Unaccompanied minors? I'm gonna have to page security. Uh-oh. Wait, mister, I promise our, our parents are coming. Uh-oh, Spice, he's going to kill a day. Something about coming up and eat my noise. Don't know what that is. I'm hungry. I gotta go pee-pee. Can I go on the ride too? No, oh, Mom and Dad! Wait a minute. Spice's parents are here. Well, kind of, sort of. We're gonna make them. For Spice's dad, we've got Superman. And for her mom, we've got our favorite dolly bag. We use the same doll for Dusk's mom. But she's just so pretty and she's got that beautiful shiny black hair that we need. Yep, no rerouting this time. It should make things a whole lot easier. But I have makeover plans for both of them. Let's get them out of the box and get started. So you guys are probably wondering why Superman? Well, I looked everywhere for a Ken doll that is made to move or is articulated and this came up in some YouTube videos. He's got movement in his arms and he's got movement in his wrist. So that makes it extra fun that we can move him around like a real person. The only thing is his hands are gonna be in fists the whole time. He can move his legs around and pretty much has a lot more movement than Ken dolls. And I'm planning on giving him a different hairstyle. We're gonna cover up his receding hairline with some sculpting clay. Wait, what's a receding hairline? Uh, uh, it's nothing, nothing at all. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna give him an outfit change and we will be right back. Hey, you. Who, me? Yeah, you. Where are you trying to go? Uh, I, I, receding hairline. I mean, I don't have a receding hairline. <laughs> That's the other guy over there. Uh, Spice Dad, you're the only guy here. Oh, okay. I admit it. I need a new hairstyle. Well, we've got him a new outfit. He's got a new t-shirt with a cool beach scene on it. And he's got some joggers with some red sneakers. But we're gonna be making him over to match the Spice family a little more. I'm thinking about kind of having him match Spice Boy. Before we do that, it's time to switch out to a made to move body for Spice Mom. Now I'm going to be careful not to break the neck plug. We're almost there, we just gotta get past those other little spiky bits. I lost my tweezers, they usually help me in this process and uh, ooh, see, we got past that part. That is the tricky part that hangs on to the head even after we've got it, ooh, even after we've got it out a little bit. Oh, there you go. Now the body that matches her skin tone is so hard to find. It's the Mate to Move Purple Top. So I scavenged the internet and looked all over and found my treasure. Now all we gotta do is take her head off and put Spice's mom's head on and then we'll be in business. Yay, we managed to save the neck plug. Now the easiest part is just getting her head on. And voila, she is made to move. Hey guys, how's it going? Cupcake Junior's always making my dolls do the dab. Anytime I walk in my room and my dolls are like this, I know Cupcake Junior's been in here. Now all we need is a change of outfit and a brand new hairdo. We're doing something special with her. Now the reason why this makeover took so long is I was waiting on something very special. I had an outfit custom made for Spice's mom. And it's amazing. It is the most detailed piece of Barbie clothes I have ever seen. Look how cool this is. Isn't it so totally Spice's mom? She's got red leather pants. And check out this really cool leather jacket. These custom pieces were from a seller on Etsy by the name of Haunt Couture. And she makes really cool clothes for Barbies, Monster High dolls, even OMG dolls. 
pretty amazing. And here she is. Look how pretty she looks. I love this outfit on her. She looks so, so spicy, mom. It's a perfect fit. I love the pants. I love the jacket. It's exactly like how I wanted it to be. Now let's do something about that blue shirt right there. This top would be so cute for when she's not wearing her jacket. So let's take it to the paint station and start painting some stripes on there. Now you guys know I'm a messy crafter, so we're gonna go in with the gloves. Cause if we don't, I'll get paint all over them and then washing them is a mission. Especially when you're painting with fabric paint. That stuff stays on forever. I've got my surface covered. That is the plastic you guys are seeing. And first up, we're gonna start with a layer of white fabric paint. The reason why we don't use acrylic paint is that we're moving this fabric around and acrylic paint will crack. So fabric paint is what we'll need to use to keep it nice and soft and flexible. I'm just gonna get the fabric paint right on here just so we don't waste any that we don't need to be wasting. And what this does is it helps cover the existing design on the shirt so that I can go in with less of my colored paints. Okay, when I looked a little closer, I realized the stripe part on Spice was pink. So I went ahead and changed the top to pink and black stripe. Now it's time to give her a new hairdo. What I'm planning on doing for her is having her hair up just like spices and giving her some bangs. So let's see how that works out. First up, we'll start off by sectioning off the amount of bangs that we want. Then we're gonna start cutting it into spices shaped bangs. This is also kind of like Mavis's from Hotel Transylvania's bangs. And now using some glue and some water, we're gonna tame these bangs to stay into place. If you guys are wondering what's inside your LOL hair goals hairs to keep them so nice and in place and crunchy, it's glue. So we're gonna do that on Spice's mom just to keep her bangs the way we want it. I managed 
managed to get her hair to lay the way I wanted it to, but she's missing a whole lot of hair. So now I'm gonna have to take some hair and root her some more to get her to have a more fuller looking bang and not have those bald spots up on top. I'm actually gonna use her hair that I cut off and root it back on there because we don't need a lot of hair and I don't wanna waste the longer pieces of hair I have. So yeah, when we root it, it'll be that much and that way we won't have to waste new hair and cut all of it off to fit her bangs later. Turns out we're rerooting anyway. And now I'm gonna try to get her hair up into a very high ponytail. And bring a little bit of her hair around to cover the elastic. Moving on to her face. I'm gonna use this blue paint for her eyes, making sure not to go all over the place because her eyes are such a tiny spot. So we're just following the lines of her existing face paint. I'm gonna give her a little bit more eyeliner. and give her pink eyebrows. Now let's change up the color of her lips, give her a nice coral color. Now using some of my soft pastels, I'm going to blush her cheeks. For her headpiece, I'm gonna use Show Baby's little headpiece, but we're gonna remove her feather. Just snip it right off. Okay, good enough. Now we're gonna go in with our sculpting clay and we're gonna create some horns. And while I'm waiting for her headpiece to dry, I'm actually gonna make her some little earrings in the shape of the little hearts that are on Little Spice's back for her big sister. Hey, uh, is it my turn now? Uh, no, it's not. Oh, uh, why is it never my turn? I'm angry because I always have my hands and fists. Okay, calm down there. It is your turn. I was just kidding. Woohoo! Finally get new hair. He's right. I'm gonna get some sculpting clay on his head and we're gonna see what we can do for his hair. I wanna change it up just a little bit.
perfect. Now it's time to give him some paint on his outfit, his hair, and finish the parents up. Let's make good use of time and while we're waiting for his shirt to dry, let's do his pants. Whoa, Munchkin, what do you want? You guys okay? Where were you guys? We can't ride the ride without parental consent. Yeah, you guys took forever. I told you guys, walking so slow from the parking lot. Okay, we're here now. Parental consent given. You may ride the Ferris wheel. Yeah, for her, finally, yeah. I don't understand the fuss about Ferris wheels. They're so boring. Ferris wheels aren't boring. They're a nice, calm ride, sweetie. Yay, we finally got the Spice family. Well, let's check out what we've done with the mom and dad. So what we did with the mom was cut her bangs into a Spice and Big Sister Spice style and gave her a nice high ponytail. We gave her a custom headpiece using Show Baby's headpiece and some sculpting clay. Then we did something extra special with her and gave her some earrings. We also gave her new makeup and for her top, we just made a Barbie top pink and black with some fabric paint. And my favorite is her outfit that I had custom made. It's so, so fitting of her and so pretty. And finally, we kept her shoes the same. On to the daddy-o. We turned Superman into Spice's dad. He looks so nice with his new hair. It's all filled in and painted. I kept his eyes the same. They're a different shade of blue, but I thought they looked nice on him. So we didn't touch those. Didn't do anything on his face, but moved on to giving him a shirt that says Lucky Devil just like Spice Boy. He's got black stripes on a red shirt and we added the little bit of pink behind the logo. For his joggers, we painted that black and gave him some red sneakers. Even though his hands are in fists and we can't change that, I tried popping them off but they are 
stuck onto his arms, so we can't replace the hands to have them be open, but at least he is articulated and he's got movement. And finally, we sealed everything in to keep it looking nice and fresh forever. It's the perfect spicy duo. She's got a complete family. And the cool thing is, LOL Surprise has actually come out with family. I saw a couple of them on Instagram. They've got little brothers, little sisters, big brothers, big sisters, all kinds of goodness. So on top of my family DIYs, we've got the ones from LOL too. So that is always fun. I think Spice's mom is probably one of my favorite makeovers that I've made. Did I already pick a favorite makeover? I don't remember, but she is my newest favorite. All right, you kids ready? Hang tight, the ride's about to start. Yeah! All right, that is it for now. If you guys had an awesome time with this LOL family makeover, click the thumbs up button and also let me know in the comment section which LOL family makeover is your favorite. Until next time, I will see you later. Bye for now.